Would you look at that? It's a motherfucking anime figurine. Hey y'all, Toby here, and this is Act Mode Maria. For someone who's been into Sim Figure 4 quite a bit, and someone who has been an avid fan for one of its characters, Mario could not. Mario cut. Mario can. How am I not getting it? Mario cut on Savannah Eve. This is the first Sim Figure merch I've owned since obtaining the Blu rays which I haven't even collected the last three seasons because I still don't own an external Blu-ray drive. So it's kind of just wasting money at this point if I can't put it to any use. Meanwhile, a posable statue has its use case for displaying in my room, meaning I can look at Maria every day. When I wake up, I can tell her good morning. And when I, <laughs> and when I leave for school, I'll be saying, itadakimasu. <laughs> <laughs> Though my feelings will never be reciprocated, Mario existing with my bare eyes is good enough for me. Now, hopefully I won't become that delusional, especially considering I was planning on getting her earlier, but decided against it because I found a limited frame arms girl kit on Ami Ami at a somewhat reasonable price and spent twice as much on her only for Ami Ami to ship the kit an entire month after I placed my order. Thanks a lot, Ami Ami. While my reasoning not getting Mario sooner is unironically the truth, I finally decided to get her anyway because she was still 30% off on Mecha Warehouse for only a few more days. But I was also in the middle of this year's Simfigure rewatch that I managed to start in September again. And one of the many things that changed positively this year is the way I perceived Mario as a character. Just for a little teaser for what's to come in my next big video, Something just clicked with me about Maria. Sure, her insecurities are hard to go through, but when she acts cool, I mean, I can't help but think, damn, that woman is cool. Whether it donned in Gungnir or Agatrum, she just also looked cool whenever she was acting cool. I just really appreciated her this time around that I haven't been for a long time. So, I finally shelled in and got her for $64 shit. Uh. Future Tobia here, just a small correction. I got her for $54 shipped. I don't know how I already forgot the price that I got her for. Oh, but while I'm here, uh, so, guess what fucking decided to come in the mail today? Thanks to Mecha Warehouse's late sale, and now she's here. And she will suffer from listening to my delusions. So, hopefully you've been able to get a grasp of the box art. Because this is an unboxing. If you <laughs> if you've seen my community post for a while, you probably know that I've already had her for a while. Everything laid down here is everything that comes out of the box. First, we got Mar herself, which I'm a lot more impressed than I expected to be. Act modes of Simfigure have been coming out for a while now, but considering how Subasa looks on the promotional art versus how she actually looks, I was quite skeptical what I was gonna get with Mario but color me surprised. In person, she looks a lot better than the pictures make her seem. It's pretty well made, her joints are hidden well, and somehow it always surprises me how hefty figurines actually are. I got her on the stand as while she can't stand nearly on her own, she can't on uh, this surface. So I have to have her on the stand. Act mode is a line for half action figure, half model kit, hence the naming scheme. But the only thing you actually build with the Simfigure figures is the stand and a few arms to support the weapons. Speaking of weapons, so she has her longsword. Okay, so this can't focus, but apparently uh, this is a knife. And of course her iconic whip sword, which has a few points of articulation, despite the fact that each uh, segment is curved. Next up, she has three pairs of hands, a pair of closed fists, holding hands, and open hands, which is on Mario right now. And last but not least, she comes with three face plates. Right now I have her smiling, but gonna also have her smirk or yell with her mouth wide open. Which god damn it, when can I have more face plates with clenched teeth for once? Anyway, in order to change Mario's face up, you first have to take off her bangs and headgear, which is just one piece. So, looks like this. And get ready for some potential nightmare fuel as you take off the original face plate. Ah, she looks like this now, and then you just pop in the replacement like this. 
then put it in, and boom, now she's uh, smirking. Pretty simple. As this is basically a Figma branded with a wacky name, you can move Mario quite a bit, but don't expect her to make any pose you like. Articulation is quite limited, especially compared to some of the Mecha Masuri kits I've built and posed. Her elbows and knees are only single jointed, the latter being better for going more than 90 degrees, while the elbows only go up to 90. A big problem I heard about Mario is her left arm, and if you think arm movement is limited, well, because her shoulder armor doesn't move for shit, this arm is even worse. And it even gets more annoying with her front hair tails also getting in the way of both of her arms. Core joints might as well not exist. Her legs disappointingly can't go any higher than this. And like I said before, she's hard to balance without her stand. So, articulation is quite subpar, at least to my standards when some of the girls I built can do this. But not only do I have a Mario statue, I have a Mario statue that can pull different poses. I got a light box I use for all my kits, so I might as well use it to showcase the poses I did manage to pull off. So enjoy these while I continue talking. What makes up for Mario's lack of articulation is her included accessories. One last critique is that it is a pain to get her to hold her weapons, but once you get the handles nice and snug in her hands, She'll hold them fine until the ground violently shakes. Although her Horizon Cannon is sold separately with extra accessories I'm never gonna use, her Warp Sword leaves me satisfied as, well, do you really see anything like this anywhere else? Finally, before I wrap things up, I do have a few size comparisons with my Soul Jolene figure and a few of my Mecha Girl kits. It's very refreshing to actually see a Mecha Musume figure with that taller look that dwarfs pretty much all of my kits while also having that width that doesn't make her too slim. It's the right balance. Ah, yes, mmm, the good proportions. Overall, I'm really happy about this figure. Mario existing in my room is like a gift of heaven itself, but also being cheap and articulate is like a gift from Shemhar herself. Sure, the articulation is feeble, but who cares? I got the motherfucking bucket ready for you know what. If you're asking yourself, should I get this figure? My answer is, if you like anything about Mario, if you've been eyeing the act mode, you own the rest of the line, I'd go for it. Otherwise, I don't really know how to persuade you. You do you. I love it. I'm happy. And that's all that matters to me. Though, I would be a happier man if they made a black dung near Mario. A rebuild like art from Mario. A figure of Mario in her swims. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. This was something quite experimental, and I don't know if I plan to do this again in the foreseeable future. However, if you did find this informative and you do want more, I do write extensive reviews on my Gunpla and Mecha Masume kits on Reddit, which I'll just link down on the description below. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit. Ta -da, ta -da. この神